All right. Oh, did I put a seven in it? Yeah, yeah. It just, we can change, um, since it's scientific, we can change our number of significant figures. So I, I this, oh, well, that's what places, but it's still significant figures. It's two, I have four significant figures. So we can do that. And now we need to do the same thing for the fall velocity. Look at the average rise velocity has been calculated for us immediately. Oh, didn't mean to do all that. So I have a negative 3.240. Everything is uh, e to the negative fifth, so that's cool too. It's not always like that though, just so you know. So this is negative 3.24, I think zero. If it's wrong, I'll go back and correct it. Yep, that's it. And then we have a negative 3.401. Double check. My memory is just not that great, but. All right, so we have these calculations taken care of. Average rise velocity, average fall velocity is looking beautiful. Our radius should be calculated immediately. So you'll see that the fall speed is coming in here. You see how this number is not that readable? Don't like that. I'm gonna change this to scientific notation and it becomes much more readable. Oh, we could just say 3.32 e to the negative fifth or times 10 to the negative fifth. I mean, it's just, you can communicate it so much easier. That's why we use science. That's one reason why we can use scientific notation. It's really about calculations. All right, so our radius is coming out to be 5.63 uh, times 10 to the negative seven. This is like close to half a micron. This is almost like six, um, 0.6 microns. A micron is a millionth of a meter. This is outstanding. All right, and then we have our mass here. So we use, we, we, our mass is 6.64 e to the negative 16th. e to the negative 15th is a femto. e to the negative 12th is a trillionth. e to the negative 9th is a billionth. This is the mass of that oil droplet. Isn't that amazing? We don't even have a scale. What? How can we do this? <laughs> sweet love, sweet love. So here we go. This is our charge, the calculated um, charge here, and it's coming out to be 1.9 e to the negative 19th, and our accepted value for charge is, of course, 1.6, and the number of charges, number of electrons on this charge, or the number of electrons, it has to be. It's, the number of, it's either the number of electrons that are there or the number of electrons that are not there, and it's one, because pretty much everything is in, everything is neutral. Everything is, has, a, has a balance in charges, but it's when you cause this imbalance that you um, are going to uh, actually be able to see the number of charges. All right, so we have one. Sweet, this is excellent. Please um, go back, hit the back button, and then share this with me in Moodle. Outstanding. You guys have a great night, great day, great whatever time it is.